Hey, this is Daryl Peterson with Micromeasurements. I want to take just a minute and show you a full uh, bending bridge transducer and kind of take you through the wiring of it. So here is a full bending bridge using uh, some of our transducer class uh, series gauges. These are uh, actually gauges made out of platinum tungsten alloy. It's, a, it's an alloy that has uh, some of the highest uh, sensitivity to strain that you can get. And one of the things that struck me about it, and this uh, cantilever beam, you've got two gauges on the top, two on the bottom. So as you bend the end of the beam, the two on the top would see tension. If you're pushing it down, the two on the bottom would see the opposite, would see compression. But when you look at the wiring of it, one of the things you'll notice, uh, it looks a little like spaghetti. And you may look at that and wonder why in the world would they have so much extra wire? Like if you look here, it kind of wraps down and comes around and here it runs down and turns around. And over here, it kind of does the same thing. And the reason that that would be the case is that whenever you're wiring a full bridge, you want to try to keep equal amounts of resistance in series with each one of the gauges. Uh, if you do that, the strain gauges will be uh, lower in terms of their initial offsets, and they'll also be better in terms of uh, temperature compensation, at least relative to the wires. So whenever you're looking at a full bridge circuit, if you notice there seems to be some additional wiring on it that's maybe even not needed, the reason for that is that we're trying to keep equal amounts of resistance in series in each one of these arms of the bridge. And again, that helps to keep it better balanced and also helps to reduce temperature sensitivity.